Good day, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to our video. Today, we're going to discuss another topic in pre-calculus. And that topic is exploring, exploring the general form general form of a parabola. Vale, exploring the general form of a parabola. Previously, in the last few videos, we have discussed the parabola, the standard form of a, para a, par <laughs> a parabola with vertex at the origin at the vertex at the point h comma k. And we have studied the general form of a parabola. But for now, we will be learning the we will be transitioning from general form to the standard form of a parabola. Kung baga parang ano lang to, um, this, is, is, this is an examples video with wherein we will going to um, transform the general form to the standard form of a parabola. And we will be graphing it using GeoGebra. And let's get started. But for now, ito, general form of a parabola. Ito yun, may dalawang cases. Yung ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f. And ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. And this must be met. Ngayon, hindi yan ang pinag-uusapan natin. Recall ko lang yan. This is just a recall. Para, di ba? Para makita nyo lang. Hindi sa video na to. Ngayon, how do we transform from general form to standard form? Ganito. We can determine the standard form by completing the square. Familiar? Of course, yes. This is the video that I've made a while back in circles. Ngayon, welcome back into the parabola. In both variables, ibig sabihin, you will going to use the completing the square method in order to transform the general form to standard form. Okay, how are we supposed to do that? Now, by the halimbawa, let's illustrate them by this example. Reduce each of the following equations of parabolas in standard form. So each of the following givens are in general form. Pansin niyo kapag may x squared, kailangan may y. Pag may x squared, kailangan may y. Kapag may y squared, kailangan may x, which is met naman sa example. So legit na parabolas yung mga yan. Now, let's get started. Solution. For number one, ganito, x squared minus 4x minus 16y plus 4 is equal to 0. How are we supposed to do that? Ngayon, this implies that lahat dapat ng mga y and this constant must be moved to the right side of the equation. How are we supposed to do that? This is x squared minus 4x, tapos mag-delive tayo ng blank, which is equal to 16y, kasi negative 16y to nilipat, positive 16y, and minus 4. Tama ba? Ngayon, let's do the completing the square method. So this is negative 4 multiplied by 1 half, which is just equal to negative 2 squared. And then, lilipat natin to, magiging plus 4. And if we add 4 to the left, we must add 4 to the right also. Tama ba? So, this implies that, this implies that this is x squared. No, x minus 2 quantity squared. Kasi kung ano ito, kung ano ito, ito yung nandito. Okay? Ngayon. But it's just equal to 16y. Tama ba? So, or pwede mo isulat and as x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 16y minus 0. So, ano mapapansin mo? This is a parabola in standard form, which is in opening upwards. Nakikita mo upwards yan. Upwards. Bakit? Kasi ito, coefficient nito ay positive and x na naka-square. Tama ba? Yun lang naman inspection dyan. So, upwards yan. So, what is the vertex? The vertex is at 2, comma 0. And 4p is equal to 4. Or this implies that p is equal to 1. Okay? Tama ba? Now, let's graph this to GeoGebra for a quick transition. And we're here. GeoGebra. Ngayon, ano to? Paano to yung ano? Ano yung given? X squared minus 4y, a 4x minus 16y plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, the dog is always barking right now. Ayan. 
Kung ang gagawin nyo is that ganyan, i-zoom out natin, tama na yung vertex mo is in 2 comma 0. Diba? Ito yung vertex o. Oh. Tapos yan yung parabola dun sa equation kanina. Now let's delete. Ayun. Balik tayo dun sa paper. Okay. Now let's proceed to number 2 while the dog is barking again. Ayun. Number 2. Yeah, number 2, this is x squared minus 2x plus 2y minus 35 is equal to 0. How are we supposed to do that? Ayun, ganito. This implies that lahat ng mga x mo ilagay mo sa kaliwa. Lahat ng mga y sa kanan. So this is x squared minus 2x. Lagyan mo ng space. Tapos yung plus 12y, lipat mo sa kabila, magiging negative 12y. Yung negative 35, ilipat mo sa kabila, magiging positive 35. Tama ba? Ngayon, let's proceed by completing the square, guys. So, magiging negative 2 multiplied by 1 half, magiging negative 1, i-square mo. So, magiging plus 1. No, that's not the color that I want. Magiging plus 1. And kapag nag plus 1 ka dyan, mag-add ka rin ng 1 to the right side. Okay? That's clear enough. So this implies that this is x squared. No, x minus 1, quantity squared. Quantity squared. Kasi kung ano ito, kung ano ito, ito yung nandito. Malinaw yan ha. Pinapaulit-ulit ko. But it's just equal to negative 12y plus 35 plus 1 which is 36. Ngayon. Mapapansin nyo, you can factor out a 12. So magiging x minus 1, quantity squared, or negative 12, y minus 3. Tama kasi 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. Okay, ngayon. Ano mapapansin nyo, this is a parabola that is opening downwards, correct? Kasi this is a variable in x. Tapos yung, for yung itong coefficient na to is negative, so... This is downwards. Downwards. And ano mga information makukuha natin dito? The vertex is at 1 comma 3. And the absolute value of 4p is equal to the absolute value of 12. Which just implies that 4p is equal to 12. Or p is equal to 3. Tama ba? Okay. Ngayon, how do we supposed to do this? Let's graph again using GeoGebra. GeoGebra. Ngayon, what is the equation? X squared. Ano ito? Minus 2x plus 12y minus 35 is equal to 0. So as you can see, the parabola is indeed opening downwards. Okay? Opening downwards with a vertex at negative 1. Ano ito? Ay 1 comma 3. You know, kasi diba? 1 comma 3. If you zoom in a little bit, this is 1 comma 3. Ito yung vertex mo. 1 comma 3. Okay? And we, if we zoom out, ayan na yung parabola mo. Opening downward. Okay? Now, let's go back to the discussion. So, lastly, we have a last example. How are we supposed to do this? Now, Number three, not this pen. Okay, number three. The given is 4y squared plus 96x plus 4y plus 97 is equal to zero. Tama naman, di ba? 4y squared plus 96 plus 4y plus 97. Okay, ayan. Okay. Let's do this for the sake of the country. <laughs> Ayan. That's it. That, this implies that we have to make the coefficient of the y squared 1. Kaya gagawin mo, divide everything by 4. Divide both sides by 4. Naging triangle. And how are we supposed to do that? Ganito. So, this is y squared plus 96 over 4. X plus 4y all over 4 plus 97 all over 4 is equal to 0. Tama? You have divided both sides by 4. Ngayon, and 96 is actually 
divisible by 4, which is plus 24x. And 4 is obviously divisible by itself, so y plus 97 over 4. And auto yan, obviously, in the end, ano? kasi nga 96 is divisible by 4. So this implies that kailangan ilipat natin lahat ng mga ano. Kasi y squared, so yung y ititira mo, plus y. Kasi di ba ganun mag-completing the square space? Magiging negative 24x minus 97 all over 4. Tama ba? Kasi positive 24 nilipat mo sa kapila, negative 24. So let's proceed by completing the square again. So this is 1 multiplied by 1 half which is equal to 1, is square mo, not that pen. Okay, so magiging plus 1. Ngayon, diba, tapos sa mangyayari, not that pen again, mag a ka ng 1. Add 1. So, again, we have to add, bakit napansin ko din eh, ganito ulit ha? 1 multiplied by 1 half 1. <laughs> this is 1 half. Quantity squared is just equal to habi ko na habi, may mali eh. Plus 1 fourth. Tama? Kasi 1 multiplied by 1 half is 1 half is square mo plus 1 fourth. So if we add 1 fourth here, we add 1 fourth there. Tama? Ayun. This implies that this is y squared, not y squared. This is y plus 1 half quantity squared. Kasi, as again, kung ano nandito, ito yung nandito. Okay? Ayan. Sunod. It is just equal to negative 24x. Negative 97 plus 1 is negative 96 all over 4. And as you have known, this is just equal to y plus 1 half quantity squared is equal to negative 24x minus 24. And you can factor out, in fact, a 24. So, magiging y plus 1 half quantity squared is equal to negative 24 x plus 1. So, ano yan? This is a parabola opening to D. Since negative ito, ano yan? Parabola opening, opening, opening to the left. Okay? And what is the vertex? The vertex is at ito, negative 1, comma, Negative 1, tagal natin yung linyang yun ha. This is negative 1, comma, negative 1 half. Or, the vertex is at negative 1, comma, negative 0 0.5. Tapos, the absolute value of 4p is equal to the absolute value of negative 24. Or, this, this implies that 4p is equal to 24. Or, p is equal to 6. Kasi di ba, 6... 12, 18, 24. Ngayon, finally, let's graph it using GeoGebra para makita natin ano yung tura ng graph. Nag-open ba talaga siya sa left? Yun yung ano, magandang tanong dyan. Delete. Ngayon, ano tong equation na ito? 4y squared. 4y squared. Plus 96x. Plus 4y plus 97 is equal to 0. Now, indeed, this is indeed opening to the left. Nakikita nyo naman siguro, di ba? This is opening to the left. And if we zoom in a little bit, the vertex is indeed at the vertex is an, indeed at negative 1. And uh, yan yung vertex niya. So, okay, that's pretty much it, guys. So, ganun lang naman yun. Diba? Plus 96x. Ayun. So, yun guys. Diba? Okay. So, the parabola is indeed opening to the left. Ayan. Nakikita nyo naman, diba? Nakikita nyo opening to the left talaga siya. So, that's pretty much it. I hope you, I hope you have learned something today. I hope that you have appreciated the notion of the transitioning or transforming the parabolas from the standard form to the general form and general form to the standard form. In the next few videos, we will be discussing the notion of a parabola given conditions. Conditions lang not the equation and let's graph them using GeoGebra and by the means of drawing. And until then, mathematicians, keep safe and have a great day. Goodbye now.